Okay, so for horizontal axle plate or center of gravity adjustment, it's pretty easy on the Move and on the A6. It's a very similar plate that you're going to get here that has four bolts on there and it's a four millimeter Allen key that you need to do to adjust it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our Allen key into the top one first and spin it counterclockwise. Loosen that side, loosen that side, and you just have to loosen it up enough so that you can kind of back it off with your hand, your fingers, it'll be easier than spinning the wrench the whole time. And once you take those two bolts out, on the back side there, you're going to have this little plate that has the, the threading on there. So that plate has a little bit of a ridge on it, and that ridge matches the circular component of the side frame. So we want to make sure that that ridge goes on the inside uh, so that it matches that angle of the, of the side frame. You're going to have that on the bottom as well, so we're going to loosen off these guys here. Again, your four millimeter Allen key, counterclockwise to loosen it. And then you can just back it off and take the bolts completely out. And you'll see that that piece dropped on that side there. And then you can choose your center of gravity from here. So on the move specifically, you have two positions. And the, the position closest to the back cane post, it's going to be three quarters of an inch. Okay. And then your two inch or your more active position for center of gravity is going to be mounted in these two bolt holes. So we'll move it forward. There is no in between. It's three quarters of an inch or two inches on the move specifically. On the A6, it's, it's the exact same axle uh, plate. The difference is, is that you have half inch increments to a maximum of two inches, uh, two and three quarters of an inch forward. Okay, So you'll have a little bit more adjustability on an A6 than you will on the move. Once we choose where we want that axle uh, to, to, to sit for center of gravity, we're going to put our bolts back through. So I'll put the top two in first. We'll grab the plate, the pre-threaded uh, pieces on the back there. Now keeping in mind it has that ridge and we want to make sure that that ridge sits so that the angle matches the, or so that the ridge matches the, the side of the frame that, that, that is rounded. Place that on the back and then just hand tighten these for now. and then do the same thing for the bottom. So put your bolts through. Grab the nut. Make sure we check to make sure that that piece, that angle on, on the actual back side of that nut matches the frame. And then hand tighten again. And once we have all four bolts in is when we can tighten everything down. So you're clockwise again to tighten. So do one, two, three, and four. And you just really want to make sure that it's nice and tight. So it should be nice and snug on there. Make sure you really put some power behind that spin so that you get it secured properly to the, to the frame. And then you're going to make sure that you do the other side as well. You want to make sure that your center of gravity or your horizontal axle plate is in the exact same position on the right side as it is on the left side of the frame.